up? It's your boy, Jamie May here, man. I am back here with another one. Today, we will be using John Bones Jones, man. So, if y'all have not already, like, comment, subscribe, man. Share if you're new, join the family, join the gang. And here we go, man. Many of y'all have asked to see the John Jones work. I haven't made a John Jones video. I make one damn near every two months, honestly. Because every time I try to put some space in between, motherfuckers keep asking for it. You know why? Because I'm the best John Jones player. Y'all ask for it, I give it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I also got to do a Chuck Lydell video for, for somebody else. But here we go. We got a Jerry Prohaska in front of us uh jerry very very awkward and unpredictable striking sorry i had to take a sip of the water he has very unpredictable striking kind of an awkward style uh good leg kicks not the greatest boxing but he has some weird kicks weird style nonetheless so here we go i think his weak point jerry's is really off of the bottom and that's really one of john jones's strong points a lot of jerry players they're very very awkward with the striking in a in a, in a footwork that's one of jerry's strong points is his footwork so we'll definitely try to definitely try to make something work and you can see right there this guy is sidestepping right so what i want to do i want to come in throw an overhand oblique kick i really want to wrestle that's what i really want to do you see I'm, I'm just pressuring him with feints just trying to see how he reacts he, he's reacting to these leg and you can see that that 90 uh that 87 leg health for john isn't great man if you check a few kicks from john man it's gonna be it's not gonna be fun for you see i'm right here i'm just pressuring him touching him up sticking that long jab out there see he's trying to touch me up as well a nice combo by him got him down right there there we go that goes the takedown i was looking for now like i said right here generally is not where it really i like to wrestle in the middle of the octagon quite opposite from majority of players most players like to wrestle right here i don't i like the the middle of the octagon because it gives you minimal opportunities to get up and it's it, if you do have an opportunity it comes a little bit more predictable like for example if i'm in sprawl i know you're on you're not going up because that, that would be dumb because you don't have the cage to help you to get up so your only chances to go left or right are down and if you're going down you're more than likely going for half guard so that's on that's already out of the question and then left or right are so easy to deny that's out of the question as well uh another position would be this position right here in the middle of the octagon right would be a regular get up but against the cage it would be something uh if you get up it you ride the cage right back up it's here uh like right there while i was talking uh he tried to go for the full guard fake now generally if someone was to go for the full guard fake they would go uh full guard fake and then down but this bag is against the cage that's kind of stupid to go for that because i am gonna deny it so he went uh left with it simple things like that man y'all got a situational awareness man i hope i'm not boring y'all too much man when i use john jones man i like being a, a professor a teacher man it's just something i like doing See right here, he's constantly letting me posture up, and I'm I'm really just getting his control off, honestly. I see how much control do we have while wow, he's doing that. Oh, we only have 49 seconds. We don't even have a full minute of control. See right there, he burned himself out, gassed himself out with the control right here. Pretty much, I'm just trying to fill him out this first round how his ground game is what he does his tendencies so when it's time for me to turn up on the ground myself on top i can really do what i want to do because he's already made the mistakes most players are gonna make the same mistakes throughout the whole fight they're not gonna switch it up off the bottom that's something real hard to do to switch up your patterns on the bottom you can switch up your head movement patterns how you ground the bone small minuscule things like that but when you're transitioning man it's very hard to do things like that with the fakes and everything but i would say that first round he probably won one i don't know that's real close i'm probably edged it out just a little bit because of the wrestling but even then i probably think he you know he won it but again feeling out wrong i'm just trying to stay fresh stay move uh you know just feel them out and i have to say i have full stamina. i really didn't utilize a lot i gotta be careful with the leg kicks because he is sidestepping and he's checking them see kicks like that i gotta be careful with because he's uh sidestepping He's going to the body, going to the legs. See, I'm just going in with the feints. He 
see he tries to go to the body now slap him down right here just a beautiful takedown right there just being patient man when you're backing somebody up with feints that's really not a good sign if you're getting backed up with feints let me say that that's really not a good sign because if you're biting on the majority of them i could just take it down like i just did this guy it's gonna be relatively easy and usually when someone's coming forward like that takedowns should be 10 times more predictable because it should be you know obvious to what they're trying to do especially with someone like a john jones dc but this dude right here he's very green off the bottom like i said jerry this is jerry this is what jerry you know doesn't shine at per se because you know off the back he's really not that great he's not that great see i just took his back with each right there most players deny that I'm trying to just bait something out of him we'll sit here for a few minutes I don't want him to shake me off because this is a real dominant position. Ah, uh, he got that. No, touche, touche, touche. Now we're just wrestling. So they may call this boring and stalling. Realistically, I'm feeling him out. First two rounds of wrestling, I'm feeling you out, especially with John. You see what I'm talking about? You see how in the middle of the octagon, he went for all of I let him get that because I, I wanted to show y'all that. That's what I was talking about. You see how he's sidestepping? I got to be careful. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie. If I had anyone else... These uh these these combos that he's throwing will probably knock me down by now, but I'm John Jones, so see now he's starting to bag me up, so I got a circle. Hit him with one of those classic John Jones knees. He's catching that. He's seeing my teeps coming from a mile away. Let me go into South Hall. Faint that. I just want to faint. Play kick. Oh, he denies the turn. I actually didn't even. I wanted to go for an actual body shot, like a legit body shot. Oh, he throws an uppercut as I do. I knew he was gonna do that. That's a, my mistake. So look at this. I was actually winning it. I didn't even know how many, I had that much control. I had two minutes of control. I let him get up, get his striking offense off, and I actually lost that round, man. Being cocky and arrogant. Look, I didn't have to go for that body shot because I, you know, I messed up. Simple things like that, man. Being cocky. That listen, 97 chin or not, man. You going to the body like that, man. You gonna get hit regardless. Like regardless, you're gonna get hit. But this is a real good fight. On the feet, I pretty much have him down pat. Uh, he throws the um, lead hook straight, and then rear uppercut combo. He's sidestepping a lot. He's throwing a lot of leg kicks. Um, well, he's checking a lot. He's really not throwing a lot, and he's throwing. He's starting to throw a lot of spinning stuff like that. I think he knows he has my head health kind of low, so he's probably gonna pick up the pace right here. Oh shit! What did I do? He's gonna pick up the pace right here, which probably will be better for me to go for these takedowns right there. As I get that takedown, right back down to the ground. He tries to go for it right here. This ain't good for him. Side control with me, man. In the middle of the octagon, ain't, ain't good. He's probably gonna go sprawl. That's where he went last time. Yup, he does go sprawl. I want to work the body. Go sprawl again. That's two times. Gonna go to the head. He's probably gonna go up. If he goes sprawl three times in a row, that would be foolish. Trying to bait it out of him. That's very foolish. Oh, he got the transition immediately. That was actually pretty smart by him. Back him up right there. Dump him down. Yeah, see, I was just literally about to say that. You see where we position on the cage right here? If he goes sprawl, it's pretty. It's not gonna. It's not gonna help him it's gonna be more predictable for me because for one he's not gonna be able to back me up against the cage and for two that that uh that side control transition is so easily uh deniable but he got the reversal right there that's pretty you know that's good for him 
But Jerry on top isn't threatening to me. Oh, he got that? I actually, I thought I denied that. I don't want to take the head damage just because. I don't want to get caught with a, like a front kick or something get flashed because I have low head health. So I'll take this body, this body damage and I will more than likely reverse him if I get the grapple advantage to side control. And I do. Let's get him into side control. He goes right there. Now right here, it's going to be easy for me to deny. Look at that. So now we can get off our own offense right here. Like I said, then I did not say that y'all said that in the the first round, man. When I got that first takedown, did I not say that, man? Goes there. Now this is a little trick I'm gonna teach y'all, man. Go go down sprawl every time it resets the timer. That's why y'all see me do it a lot when I'm in sprawl. He got up. His body health is probably. He's dug in a lot. I probably, I think I took that wrong. Yeah, I did. But I only threw one strike. But I had two minutes and 36 seconds of control. Doing a real good job controlling him. I f it might be 2 1. I, I think I won either the first round or the third round. I'm not sure. It's either 2 1 or I'm up 2 1. He's, either, he's up 2 1 or I'm up 2 1. I don't know. I definitely lost that second round, though. But I have to win these. I have to win this round of like for sure, like secure. Like I'm gonna be, you know, I have to win the next two rounds regardless. Cause I'm like, I like, I'm so unsure. Up kick. I knew he was gonna up kick, and I still went for it. I think he knows what I want to do. He has to be pre denied because I'm going for a power takedown. Yep, there we go. Well, not a power. I meant to say turn and take down. That's my fault. I'm gonna go to side control. I'm gonna force that out of him early. I know he wants to go sprawl. Anywhere else is completely fine with me. He's gonna stall me out. Try to get me in the middle of my transitions. Out of the middle of me throwing punches. So I'm gonna throw pauses in between every one. Seen just not here. There we go. I knew he was here. He got that power, that power get up. Got taken down. Oh, he got, he got up. That to that, that stam is low though. Defending these takedowns, the that don't conserve you no energy. Oh, you see, I try to go there. Eh, it's a little tricky. Ah, uh, come here. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm chain wrestling with John. Listen, you, you don't get a takedown on me. No, you're not getting that. You deny a takedown, like be ready, cause I, like I'm, I'm coming in for another one. It's one of my best positions, and I let him get out. Let him get out again. I usually deny that. I gotta get up. I'm gonna clinch him. Deny that, and we're gonna go to side control. That was pretty, pretty readable. I think I'm winning this round. I know this is real grapple heavy, but this is what I intended to do before I even started the video. I probably, I'm probably gonna put a disclaimer. This is gonna be real grapple heavy, y'all. Ain't gonna be a lot of the striking that I usually do. Like super grapple heavy. Deny that again. This ain't good for him.
There we go. End of that round. I feel like I dominated that round as well as I did. I went for seven to eight downs. Way too sloppy. I like to keep it around two to three. And you see, you know, the first three rounds, I keep it around there. Two to three is my max. This one, I went for seven. I got a little bit too desperate. I feel like it's two two right now. So I have to, I still have to win this fifth round. I'm just trying to straight up grapple. I do have him down pat on the feet, but what John Jones is striking, I really don't have the capability, not the capability, I don't have the tools to do what I want to do. He's checking a lot of leg kicks, so I, my best bet is just using one of Jerry's weaknesses uh, to my advantage, and that is his wrestling. Got him right there. Oh. I'll bring him into half guard, though. He was ready for that takedown. I probably should have went for the spin, uh, spinning kick to the head. He gets up, smart man. Doesn't want to get reversed. Uh-uh. Ooh, I felt that on the block. Oh, I, I ain't gonna lie, I flinch right there. Take him down right there. I'm, I might be winning this round just based off of those two rocks. So, and it, it would not be, if he goes sprawl, I mean, it's pretty much over. Cause look where we at, yeah, you know, in the octagon. But he's not gonna be able to, you know, and he's going for the muscle out every time. So I have to pause in between these body shots. See how I'm pausing now? So I can kind of flesh that out. There we go, and I'm gonna go sprawl. What? Well, not sprawl. Backside. He actually denied that though. That's a damn good deny. Damn good deny. He doesn't have stamp, so I'm gonna be able to get this. I'm gonna go to back sitting. That stamp isn't looking too great for him. I probably should posture up and get some ground to pound off. Let me get up. I don't want to drill that. You saw I haven't thrown. I've thrown one spinning kick this whole fight. Y'all know I love the spinning kicks, but he sidestepped so much. I can't risk it. He's going to throw a head kick. I'm waiting on it, though. I knew he was, I told y'all, I told y'all, he was throwing that same combo, I was waiting on that uppercut, I was waiting on it, I was, oh, I literally was about to say you better not throw the uppercut, I couldn't get my words out though, because I was trying to focus on getting that damn poor elbow, I was waiting on that man, shot, clunk, cheese. I literally, I purposely did not throw that that whole fight, because I didn't want him to catch on to, I was waiting on that counter the entire fight, y'all saw me this fourth round, I was throwing, the fifth round, I was throwing a lot of elbows, y'all saw, I know y'all saw that folded his ass man man that was a damn good fight grapple heavy man grapple heavy John Jones man I don't know I was just trying to show off that I can grapple you know I gave up a lot of positions though uh, on the ground I gave up a lot of positions on um, I shouldn't have gave up but uh you know that's fixable uh, it's just mistakes on me reaction time things like that that's nothing that you know i have to drastically you know go fix on it it's, it's nothing that serious with him though um specifically like i said every jerry player that i've come across has a weird pace of footwork always unpredictable like jerry in real life so if you're a jerry main man respect to you but man this is pretty much you know domination i'd say by me and actually he was up by two rounds i thought it was 38 38 like the judges said on here but two judges actually had him 37 39 which put me down by two points so even if i would have won this fifth round i still would have lost 
it would have been a split decision for him. So actually, me getting that KO won me to fight pretty much. So that's him his mistake, man. He threw that punch and that, that that's his mistake, man. That goes to show you that uh, that control does not win you to fight. It's all about damage, man. Cause I went I went fifty percent on my takedowns. I had eleven I had eleven minutes of control out of a twenty five minute fight. So that means about mm, about what? I mean about twenty? It's a 25 minute fight, 25 minus 11 is what? 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14 minutes. So for that means 14 minutes, uh, the fight was standing. About 14 minutes of that damn fight out of 25 minutes. But hopefully y'all enjoyed that Grapple Heavy John Jones showcase, man. So if y'all have not already, like, comment, subscribe, man. Share if you're new, join the family, join the gang. I will see y'all next time. Peace, love, and prosperity. Love every single one of y'all, man. Do something productive with your day. Beating your meat is not productive i will see y'all next time man stay up stay blessed man uh i don't know what else to say man but uh i'm out man um also y'all be on the lookout for that chuck liddell video and uh just let me know down below in the comments how y'all like this grapple heavy style i just wanted to mix it up and show you yeah i like grappling with john too but uh, that spinach y'all saw i can stay patient and you know stay true to the grappling uh, striking with the spinning kicks i have patience with my striking but when i want to but when when i don't want to i i, I don't learn my life like when i'm sparring people or like find people for videos i would i would consistently throw that jump and spin kick but you saw here i only threw it one time because i knew he was sidestepping didn't want to get countered had a little head health had a little leg health so what if he was the sidestepping and throw a leg kick or throw a hook or throw an uppercut or throw a elbow flying knee? could have knocked me out pretty much gotta keep that in my mind but anyways y'all stay out stay blessed and i'll see y'all next time man it's me boy jamie man and i'm out man peace